Welcome to a little micro tutorial about the OPC OPLAB, the first module in a series of upcoming modules for the OPC. Long time awaited. Now everybody can see where you normally put in or where you normally have your stand inside connected is now four standard mini stereo jacks. If you turn around the device, I opened it already. Um, you have to remove the cover. You can place it here inside and save it with this lock. It's having these four connectors. And for two of them, you can decide the functionality with micro switches. So you have on this first, which is when you turn around, of course, the last, the number four here. You have um, the possibility to decide the output if it's a MIDI out, MIDI out. TRS mini stereo jack to MIDI of course there's various possibilities how to connect it but one standard is of course um, like this retro kits it helps a lot you can decide in and out and connect it with a standard stereo mini jack but of course also teenage engineering offers uh, various cables and of course you get these cables also like for, from Novation and some other synthesizers which are using the mini TRS um, jack for MIDI. With uh, this switch you can also switch to trigger out means you then use the trigger functionality like it is in a monologue from Korg or you can use it like the PO or Walker setting to directly synchronize a pocket operator and this is I think the first thing what I show you because most of you guys who are having an OPC are also um, having a um, pocket operator and uh, for example when you use the pocket operator uh, the PO33 then you have first time the possibility now to sample with the OPC so you connect it um, with this mini stereo jack and then you put in sync 2 and then it's running on sync with the OPC of course when you stop you have to stop here again that you set the locator on zero that it starts also on zero as it's only a trigger signal it doesn't give any positional um synchronization um, to tell the pocket operator that it has to start from beginning. So this is um, this output for MIDI, trick and pocket operator. On the input you have the possibility with the upper switch uh, to have it um, as a MIDI input then you can connect every standard MIDI keyboard with it and play the OPC from, for example, a weighted keyboard, but you also can use it to synchronize the OPC from outside with other MIDI gear, like with a, a hardware or software sequencer and um, synchronize it. For this, you have, of course, to change some settings on the channel 14, or you use your um, app and you can directly configure the MIDI configuration for receiving then um, MIDI sync. Uh, the next two connectors are CV and gate and this is I th think what everybody was uh, mainly waiting for the possibility to connect modular systems or synthesizers who are having CV and gate instead of MIDI or just to control various uh, sound modules, filters, LFOs, whatever with CV and gate. The good thing is you have two of them because there's a tip and there's a ring. Uh, what I have set it up to quickly show you, um, I connected it, it with this uh, SE02 from uh, Roland, the Studio Electronics um, um, from the Boutique series. And I just connected it to show you here with the CV coming out straight here from the OPC and with the um, um, gate for... Um, 
from the OPC here into the studio electronics and also triggering um, CV, the VCF, to have a filter because on channel 14 I can control then my CV with these alpha dials. What is a beautiful functionality. So let's go to the control track. First of all, for the setting, of course, I have to send a click to the pocket operator. I have to send out synchronization. Also, like if I want to connect other MIDI equipment um, or sequencers that sync to the OPC. And, um, and then I can play this synthesizer. Let's switch it on. And I can, of course, control. Let's have a different patch. All the settings for the module, for the um, OPLAB module, and uh, funny wise, it's having a similar name like the first OPLAB, which was released, I think, in 2014 or 15 by Teenage Engineering, this big black box, which is out of sale. Uh, it was also called OPLAB, and I think you can still find it on the Teenage Engineering site. Um, it's now called Oplet because it's actually carrying mainly the functionality from this big device. All the settings for this you find, of course, in the channel 14, as I told before, the controller track from which you sequence, of course, the CV gate outside. And um, with which, uh, of course, you do with shift all the settings according um, to your... MIDI setup um, with the MIDI in, MIDI out, sync in, sync out, and so on. I refer for this into the manual. Um, if you don't have stereo jacks, it's no problem. Then you just lose a CV, um, CV uh, signal and only have one. So you cannot separately control them. But it's also working with a standard. Then it's just the tip. But it makes really sense to find some cables, how you can use it. I have at the moment, because I had no other cable for the stereo jack, I just made this kind of solution by having a standard stereo um, mini jack out into standard two kinch adapters. And then you get quite cheap, these kind of adapters where you just put the tip in that you can use it in your synthesizer. And then it's basically... Yeah, well, a cheap version of a cable, which, of course, you could suitor yourself or buy yourself one. So much about this. What I have not connected right now is the input, because basically my keyboards are too big to put them here under the... Um, under this camera, but basically I press quickly stop and I make a short setup that you can see that it's basically working. So now I connected the Archi MPC uh, MIDI out with the OPC OPLAB and then from the OPLAB with the pocket operator sync into this little pocket operator. Now I start it and it should work. <laughs> this is working and here comes now the meeting of the generations my old dusty dx7 midi out goes straight into the opz and i can play it 
A last um, thing what I wanted to show you is uh, what's really a nice function. Whenever you start the device, I switch now off the audio, um, all the active um, channels start to blink. So you have a little LED so that you always see if you have made your setups um, on the MIDI setup correct. Um, because sometimes it could be also a broken cable that something's not working or some other settings are not correct. So you always have this feedback from a little LED, what is quite helpful. So much about the little um, OPC module, the OpLab. Of course, I will uh, make a more detailed tutorial about it, but I think for the moment that's uh, enough to see how it's working. I wish you a lot of fun with this device and um, stay tuned, come soon more tutorials and of course um, I would be really thankful if you follow my channel or just give me a thumb. Thanks.